this work is my reaction to the trials through which weaklings pass through in society. I'm not a tough guy. I think uh, I'm kind of a weakling. I had a harsh childhood in a way, and so uh, uh, that feeling of being an outcast. It uh, I wanted to translate that into my work. So I've been working on several projects from the past with people uh, like drug addicts and mentally deranged people and others. Uh, so finally I found some similarity, some line in all what I have done. Then I started working on this project in a rather slightly more conscious way. All of these are people who I can relate to. That's the work is all about. I wanted very stark images so that the extremes of contrast, they show the extremes of life in a way. And the harder the contrast is, the more it becomes expressive, this anger, this sense of anxiety. So that's why I created black and white images which are high in contrast. And also I work in black and white uh, only because I've been working since a long time with black and white. I think it's more emotional for me in black and white. Calcutta, I think, is uh, more real in a way. It has the extremes of the privileged class and also the extremes of the people who are deprived of everything. So it's more real compared to, say, Delhi or Mumbai. While well, Mumbai is the financial capital of India and Delhi is also rich in history and also the bureaucratic capital of India, you know, the government. But Calcutta is different in the sense that it's isolated in a certain way. And there's a certain uh, element to it that makes it a very uh, harsh place. There is a certain harshness about Calcutta which can, uh, which is somewhat like a Charles Dickens novel in a way. I don't find these people ugly, you know. It's quite interesting. Uh, they're like really beautiful people in a certain way. So there are times when I have bizarre experiences like someone offers me a like, uh, uh, injection and says that this is all I can give you. So uh, these are things that make it quite touching. But I also want to amplify that extreme uh, harshness in the photographs. So they're not ugly to me at all, but at the same time it's like uh, ridiculing the privileged people living in a bubble in India and elsewhere also. It's more an exploration of the self, but at the same time yes, the, it is a critique of the social system. I work in the night uh, because I want to have that, I can't go into a studio so I have that black background you know. So night is the black background in a way and they perform for me in front of the camera. So at the same time uh, I go, it's a very slow process because not every day you get images. So I work almost every night. I go out with my camera. Some days are really good, some days are not at all good. But I try to keep images trickling so that I have something at the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of the month. Sometimes I meet people who have that spark in, in spite of being down and out. I talk with them for a long time. I joke with them. Sometimes I share a cigarette. Though I am an asthmatic, but still I share a cigarette sometimes. Uh, I break that ice by talking for half an hour sometimes. Sometimes it takes less. And then uh, I just tell them to do whatever they want to do in front of the camera. And sometimes the experiences are really bizarre. In a way, I started out with a more aggressive approach, like pumping flash into the faces of people. But with time, I've seen that that approach is sometimes not working. But then I've seen that the results are much better when there is collaboration between the people. These people don't have places to go to and they are roaming all over town. So uh, I don't know whether I am having a long-term relationship with them. But that 15 minutes, that 20 minutes, I find that beautiful, you know. Sometimes they share their life stories, sometimes they talk about abuses at home. Sometimes they are just uh, blessing me uh, in a way. So it's interesting.